Alright guys, finally got my mufflers in. Took a couple weeks to get the tracking number. Hey Milo. And then after I got the tracking number, it only took a few days, but these are the Borla Pro XS. Part number 40357. I got two of them obviously, because it's dual exhaust. And comes with a little, little booklet. Borla mufflers. Borla attack. Those ones are loud, but unfortunately they don't make a cat back for the TL. I think they would have did pretty good if they made a cat back, because if they would have priced it a little cheaper than the competition, like ATLP and um, RV6 and endless RPM and accelerate then it would have got a lot of sales because this muffler sounds really good from just the clips that I can hear on YouTube um, there's only two or three clips and they don't even do like a drive-by or a rev up while well, they rev to like 2500 but you can't really hear it good and all they have is the muffler so I think this paired with the J pipe is going to sound really good also comes with a sticker or a decal which I probably won't put on anything just because Got to keep it sleeper. For those that didn't see yet, these are my muffler tips that are going on. They are four inch tips, two and a half outlet. Now, the stock piping on the TL is a two and a quarter, so this is two and a half. Now, the, obviously, they're going to do some custom fabrication. Um, so it's a center, and then it's an offset here, so this will go like that. On the left side the driver side and then this will go out and then these will come to about I don't know how it works but probably around there and then this will follow the body line of the TL and uh, these are staggered obviously they're not um, they're not angled but I'm okay with that I just wanted to make sure they were at least staggered just because the body does go in like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of bring these outside and Put them up to the car give you guys an idea of what it's going to look like got a bad ding there jeez where'd that come from i never seen that before somebody must have hit me that's just lovely but anyways so these i believe are nine inches wide so this is just as wide now if you go three and a half inch it's going to be small it's going to look funny so that's why i wanted the four inch tips um as you can see it's pretty much the same way so i'm going to make sure that they're up in the bumper and they fit perfectly now the 09 to 11 what i noticed with your guys's rear bumper is it doesn't have this like plastic piece and it um it comes out and it's a lot wider so when you get like three and a half inch or three inch tips it, it will look really funny unless you get the bigger tips but um so this the body color goes to here and then they got this like uh, plastic covering um i do want to get a rear diffuser i'm just trying to find one that'll fit and then the ace back kit will come down to about here and it will really make this look way better so um, but unfortunately right now I'm not don't have the budget for an a spec kit so I called around everywhere today unfortunately nothing is open so I couldn't get in but hopefully in the next few days I'll be able to get these installed along with the Borlas and we will do some drive-bys and before and after and then we'll bring it on the draggy and see the difference with the K-Tuner and the mufflers and the clutch and the lightweight wheels to see if it made it any faster. Holy shit, literally, look at that. What the hell? Those are the biggest chunks of bird shit I've ever seen on a car. Clear coats peeling. Finally fixed a radiator leak that was there. Gotta do an oil change and throw this up for sale. 2,500 bucks, get rid of it. So this time, when I put the stock filter back in, I didn't put that bolt there. So let's see if I can install the intake without removing the battery now. Oh, I unplugged the battery. Sensors. Uh, 
this. Oh, I forgot to tighten that. Damn. Maybe that's why my check engine light kept coming on. I forgot to tighten this. I still want to install the uh, the intake for sound. Notice how I said for sound because I'm not sure if it adds power anymore because I found it did with the stock tune, but with this K tuner base map, I don't find it added power. So if anything, it made it slower. Anyways, I need two hands. So you can't really tell, but this filter is getting dirty. So I might have to clean it. Maybe that's why it's not working as good, but. All right, so I got the intake back on without taking the battery out. All I had to do was when I installed the stock airbox, I didn't put that bolt back in on the stock airbox. And then this one, um, you, you can reach it without taking out the battery. So if you want, and you switch back and forth like I do for some reason. I just do that when I bring it to the dealer for maintenance because I still have warranty. But warranty is pretty much done now in uh, six months. So if something breaks, it breaks. Hopefully it doesn't. And um, I'm just going to leave it in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and tighten everything up. Put that hose there to there. Put the sensors. And then I'm going to kind of give this a quick wash because it is definitely due for one and i think i'm gonna throw this on um maybe it'll get people behind me to be like oh this guy has an intake maybe he thinks he's fast so i don't know we'll see oh this one came off this one twisted to shit and broke off so that's just freaking great and it's not like i'm gonna get a whole new bumper for that part so that sucks good old rust look at that if you don't live where there's salt, you guys are lucky. Quick video of how dirty it is here. And, what, one drop of Dawn and grease is gone, will do. In there it's really dirty. But yeah, so she's dirty. Oh, I can't wait to park this for the winter. Oh, and also P2, P2R has a bracket that goes here, and it is a lot smaller. So it's only like 30 bucks, I think, and super easy to install. They have a video, so I'm going to get that eventually. I just don't feel like spending $30 plus shipping for, for no extra power just to kind of clean up the engine bay a bit. It's probably a quarter of that size, so looks better. Easy install. Anyone can do it, so go check that out on their site. Okay. All right, that's going to have to do. Quick 10 minute little, hopefully you guys can see way better now. Um, I could have did a little better job, but ran out of time. Just a quick little, yeah, see in there. And so I just quickly wiped everything down with the towel and with a cloth and soap. So, some rust there. Obviously, I need degreaser to clean that real good, but even like around this, it was way better. It was all dirty and full of grease. And all up there was all dirty. Looks way better now. So, that's that. Now I gotta go wash it because look at all the bugs. Crazy. Hit the highway and there goes your car wash. All dirty again. One thing I need to do is really clear up these headlights because oh, it makes the car look so crappy, I find. It's just all foggy. I suck at headlight re restoration, so I don't know. Acura charged me $20 to do both headlights and the fog lights last time, so I'll probably just pay 20 bucks and get them to do it. Bumpers pushed out a bit here, but yeah, so I want to eventually take out these headlights since I can't afford dual eyes right now, but I'd like to paint that. Maybe this. I'd like to customize these. I mean, obviously, they're pretty foggy right now, but um, if I could get some customization until I get the jewel eyes, that would be great. And I've been trying to find a cheap grill because I'm going to try retrofitting the new um, grill because you can find a grill for a few, couple hundred bucks if you're lucky. And then I'm going to try retrofitting it myself no idea how to do it but I'll figure it out I don't care as long as it stays together and it looks good that's all I care the new type S has been unveiled 
It's gonna have ambient lighting. It's gonna have, I think it said 17 speakers, which is crazy. It's gonna have an amazing sound system. Um, V6, three liter twin turbo. Unfortunately, they went with their 10 speed auto. Um, I'm not impressed with that, but apparently they beefed up the transmission to handle the extra power and they did some gearing changes for more um, aggressive and harder, quicker launches. So I'm not gonna hate on it yet until I actually test drive it, but I was really hoping they went with a dual clutch and unfortunately they did not. They went with the 10 speed auto. So I hope the paddle shifts are responsive. But either way, once this is paid off, I would love to grab one for the channel. I think it would be great if I could be one of the first ones to get one, then get the content out there first. I think it would really help out the channel, but we'll see how it goes. Still working on getting a house. Once we get a house, then it's all uphill from there. Also had a race against a 3.8 Genesis the other day. Just kind of want to end the video with that. Um, I lost, of course, but... Uh, it was still fun. We didn't really get a good chance to line up and, and our best run unfortunately I had shut the GoPro off by mistake. I thought I had it on. Now the lighting is horrible. The GoPro angle is horrible, but you get an idea. I, I would pass them around like 250, 260 kilometers, which is around 150, 160 miles an hour, but he might have hit his speed limiter because I think stock they they're governed at 160 miles. So he might have hit his 160 miles and then he let off because I passed him pretty quick at around 160 so but anyways i'll throw that up and uh so you guys get an idea now on a cell phone view it's not gonna be it's gonna look like i got owned but if you put the phone sideways it'll look a lot closer or if you're watching it on a laptop or a big screen it's gonna do it better justice because the gopro angle really looks like he gaptized me but i'd say he pulled a, a few cars at least from second to fifth. got done to that but up tire shine look at the swirl marks crazy I need a wax so bad look at that but yeah I'm definitely gonna get a wax soon um, paint the calipers I'm undecided black or blue I mean I like the blacked out theme but I think blue would look good just because I have an idea with the with the lip kit and everything, so I think blue would look all right. Uh, black and blue always goes good together. So, all right, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.